What's going on, everybody? I am back with another Prize Picks NBA Player Props video. We're gonna be breaking it down, giving you guys five picks to get you winning some money over here on Prize Picks. As always, if you haven't signed up for Prize Picks, would highly recommend you check them out. It is a player props website. We can win money off of picking the over and under on things like players, points, assists, rebounds, points, rebounds, assists, fantasy score, etc. Go to use that promo code KJKDFS to receive an instant match deposit up to one hundred dollars today. Again, that is code KJKDFS. Go to lock that in. Get that free money offer and start winning some money over here on prize picks using these picks today, guys. So uh, let's get into it. Yesterday was really not a good day. Game turned into a blowout. We talked about on the video how it's the Western Conference Finals. We can kind of anticipate these games staying close finally. And then game one turned into a blowout. So what are you going to do? Uh, if you have the overs, you're probably not looking too good in that spot. Maybe if you took unders, you'd be cheering. So it goes both ways, but the blowout's just... Uh, not fun, so we move on. But if you're playing uh, NBA prize picks at this point in the season, just know that's the playoffs. So you're probably going to want to mix and match, and it is a little bit more risky than others. You know, during the regular season, because uh, during the regular season, you can kind of pick from like 11 different games. If the game turns into a blowout, you have a guy, you know, scoring over his points. Maybe he goes off in the first half. In this scenario, if you're putting together five picks in a game that turns into a blowout, and you have a lot of overs. Probably not going to be looking too good for you, but. Um, we march on. So if you enjoy the content, it would be greatly appreciated if you hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Like going on these videos is going to be 200 likes. So if we can get to 200 likes, that'd be fantastic. And I'm going to be trying to make these picks blowout proof, uh, quote unquote blowout proof. Honestly, that's going to be my goal here uh, to where even if it does turn into a blowout, we could still cash in uh, going forward. That's I think that's kind of going to be the, uh, the adjustment I'm making because yeah, just hasn't been fun as some of these blowouts at the playoffs just has not been fun. So Let's talk about it. We're going to go game by game. There's only one game now going forward, though. So it's the Boston Celtics taking on Miami Heat. It's a 207.5 over under 3.5 point spread in favor of the Miami Heat. So it is expected to stay close here. Uh, the, Celtics, the Celtics are expected to get Marcus Smart back. They're going to remain uh, without Al Horford. So that's obviously, you know, continuing to be a big piece of news there to touch on. And the Miami Heat remain without Kyle Lowry as well. So those are the two. You know, big names missing in this one, and let's talk about it. First, we're going to talk about the Boston Celtics, and I want to talk about Jalen Brown, and we're going to be targeting his three-pointers made over here on prize picks. Two and a half three-pointers made. I want to be taking the over here. He has hit this three out of the last five times out. Uh, we kind of got a preview of game one as far as how this series is going to go. Now, obviously, there was no uh, Marcus Smart, so the, the shot volume really did funnel to Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum, but... Uh, regardless, they did take eight threes for Jalen Brown and nine threes for Jason Tatum. So I do expect these guys to kind of continue to take the most shots. A lot of them would be three-pointers, but specifically we're touching on Jalen Brown right now. 43 minutes, eight three-pointer attempts, nailed four of them. And his line is only set at two and a half over here. So I like his ability to probably, you know, go out there and hit three threes in this one. And like I said, blowout proof. I mean, he could do this in the first half. Um, he could do this in the third quarter and hit it, even though if they are getting blown out or if they're doing the, you know, blowing out. And if there are, there's a good chance he already hit the uh, three threes anyways. So uh, I like the over two and a half three-pointers made for Jalen Brown, just to kind of touch things off as far as how many threes he's attempting per game. 6.3 uh, per game. He's shooting 38.7% from behind the three-point arc. And then, like I said, obviously, you look at the, the results. He's hit this three of his last five times out. Uh, so I do like the over two and a half three-pointers made for Jalen Brown to start things off here. And second on the list, going to his teammate, we're going to be talking about Jason Tatum, and we're going to be taking the over on his player blocks, uh, block shots, over 0.5 block shots. He plays a ton of minutes. He's hit this in four of the last five, uh, you know, getting that one block shot. He's averaging one block uh, per game throughout the, the playoffs. I was checking that out earlier. So uh, let's see as far as Jason Tatum's concerned right here. So he's averaging one block a game. Uh, he just plays a ton of minutes. I mean, you, uh, you know, it kind of goes without saying, but just pulling up the game logs as far as how many minutes Jason Tatum is playing on a per-game basis. 44, 36, 43, 42, 42. He's pretty much a lock for 42 minutes. Uh, and with all that time on the floor, there's a good chance he's going to be able to at least rack up one block when he's out there. So I do like going with the over blocks. And once again, if it does turn into a block for some reason and he only plays 30 minutes or whatever, um, it's a good chance he could have already gotten a block so we don't have to worry about, you know, the block affecting it. So I like the over on Jason Tatum blocks tonight as pick number two. Pick number three, we're going to be heading over to the Miami Heat. And uh, the first guy we're going to talk about is Jimmy Butler. And we're also going to be targeting Jimmy Butler blocks. Kind of the same exact reason. I like the over 0.5 blocks for Jimmy Butler. He's going to be out there on the floor for lots of minutes. He's hit this in three of the last five. And uh, same thing as Jason Tatum. Just He's going to be out there on the floor 
uh, for massive minutes. Obviously, that's what you want. I mean, just going on and sorting the, the, the playoffs as far as minutes played per game. Tatum playing 41.4 minutes per game. And then you look at um, Jimmy Butler. He's playing 37 minutes a game. As far as his average blocks per game, he's averaging 0.8 blocks per game. So he is over the uh, the 0.5, right around a block per game, pretty much you know the same as Jason Tatum. And once again, just ample opportunity out there on the floor. All it's going to take is one you know drive to the basket and Jimmy swatting it away and boom, he already hit the over. Uh, so if it does turn into a blowout for some reason, once again, trying to make these tickets as blowout proof as possible for you guys. Uh, so I do like the over 0.5 block shots for Jimmy Butler in this one. That's going to be pick number three. Uh, pick number four, we're going to be heading on down to P.J. Tucker. And we're going to be going with the points here for P.J. Tucker. They've got a line set at 6.5. I like the over 6.5 points here for P.J. Tucker. Not exactly an elite scorer, but he has hit this in three of the last five. And he's just out there in the four for a ton of minutes, and he can't shoot the corner three. Uh, so, you know, all it's going to take is a couple threes from him, a bucket down low, and you're looking pretty good, maybe even three threes. But he will get a couple three-point attempts per game. As far as his minutes are concerned, 35, 25, 31, 39. If the game stays close, I expect him to play in the mid to upper 30s. I uh, did have to exit the game temporarily last time out with an ankle injury, but I got it retaped and then he came back in. So I'm expecting him to be fine. I think he's just dealing with a banged up ankle that he's going to have to take up, tape up, you know, throughout the series. But I think he's going to be good here. And like I said, he's hit this three the last five. Just looking at the shot attempts, you know, two for three, three for seven, four for six, six for nine. Uh, two for five. So you're kind of looking for him to you know, get five or six shots, knock some shots down, and, and you're good. And that's what he's done in three of the last five, seven, 10, and 12 when he's attempted um, five or more shots. And I kind of do expect him to attempt five or more shots. He shot five last time out. There's a couple times out where, you know, he only shot three here, but that game turned into a blowout. Then you look at the other shots, you know, six, nine, six. Um, so the minutes are there. I think the shot volume will be there for such a low line. Obviously, you know, he's not an elite scorer or anything, but his line is set accordingly. Uh, six and a half points over here on Price Picks. I, the minutes are there. And uh, I like the over six and a half points for PJ Tucker. Pick number four in the video today. And then pick number five, we're going to be heading down to Tyler Hero off the bench, who did play quite a few minutes. I was talking about him in that game one. I said I didn't really know how many minutes he was going to play. They've been a little bit light on his minutes, leaning towards more Max Struss minutes. He went there and played 27 minutes. So I do kind of think they're going to ramp up his minutes a little bit uh, here if he's able to kind of shoot effectively. And he's not going to be the four for it ton of minutes compared to some of these other guys but i do still like going with another prop where we can take advantage of some peripherals and that's going to be his blocks and steals prop i like the over 0.5 he's hit this three of the last times five or three of the last five times out and uh, although he's not going to be on the four for as many minutes it is the blocks and steals category so we get a you know uh two four chance you know if he gets a block or a steal you're looking pretty good most likely it's going to be a steal when it comes to tyler hero but anytime you can you know, hope for both your odds go up. So that's not going to hurt our feelings at all. Obviously, the minutes aren't quite as high as, you know, Jimmy Butler and Jason Tatum that we talked about getting a block. But uh, we do get the blocks and steals. And his minutes did tick up in game one. And obviously, he coming off the bench. He's going to need to be in there for a scoring punch off the bench. And uh, when he's out there, I expect that he can probably pick up a block or a steal. You know, 27 mid to 20s to uh, around 30 minutes. So like the over 0.5 blocks and steals for Tyler Hero. And that's going to be my five picks on this prize picks video today, guys. Hopefully enjoyed trying to make this blowout proof. Uh, I mean, dug into the numbers. It all looks pretty good. Uh, as far as, you know, the minutes, the blocks, the steals, obviously the peripheral stats, it's not as uh, black and white as just looking at sh points scored and like saying he shot this many times. But um, in the playoffs, there seems to be a lot of opportunities to pick up those turnovers uh, when these players take the floors and take the floor. And um, we don't have to worry about the blowout and they can still get there in the blowout if that were to happen again, because that seems to be happening a lot in the playoffs. So, that's all for me in this one. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell so you don't miss any future content that I upload. Wishing you guys all the best of luck tonight on your prize picks picks, and we will see you in the next one.